Y'all, I just had quite an interesting dream, and um, I'd like to share it with you. Um, I believe it was from the Lord. I just asked the Lord for interpretation, and if He fully gives it to me, <laughs> I will let you know. So, I had a family member who had quintuplets in this dream. Um, the pregnancy didn't go well, so I remember they were like sort of out of it, like right? sleeping or whatever. There was a lot of stuff going on in the stream, and we ended up setting these five newborns <laughs> where we could set them. And one of them we actually set in a rather precarious position. I had two other family members with me who were supposed to be helping to take care of these five newborns. <laughs> And they were doing things, but they weren't being that serious about it. And I was doing, like, there was a bunch of stuff that had to be done. So, eventually I let them know, hey, one of these babies is going to fall. We need to get them out of these. We need to get that baby out of, the, out of that position. So, we began to tend to these quintuplets. <laughs> I was the main one tending to them. And I realized that one of the quintuplets was severely deformed. It was actually very li little more than just a head and a part of a torso. <laughs> and the little baby was making like a sunking sound. It only had one eye. It had one eye and I remember its little mouth was moving, making a sucking sound. It was hungry. And as I began to look at the the baby and look at its torso and I realized that there was an opening um, at the like a cavity if you will at the bottom of the baby kind of like where there would normally be like you know the behind and, and the privates and all that stuff and I could see that you could actually see inside the body that it didn't fully form its digestive system <clears throat> so initially I was asked I was I was asking my sister I was like you need to pump cuz you need to you need to put a pump on your chest and get some milk because this baby is hungry <clears throat> and she she was saying well I don't want to feed that baby that baby's going to die anyway I don't even want to deal with it it's going to die and I said, well, I'll pray for it. Let me pray for this baby. God will heal it. God can heal it. And even I was doubtful in the dream. I was doubtful, but I didn't want this. I wanted to feed this baby. I didn't really care what shape the baby was in. <laughs> so I prayed for the baby, even though she was like rolling her eyes and was like, what are you doing? Like this baby's going to die. You need to just let it go so i prayed for the baby and then the next thing i know we go to where these children are like maybe four years old and i believe all five of them were healthy and happy so i believe that the lord had had actually miraculously healed this baby <clears throat> and I think in the dream after she got up she did do what I told her to do <clears throat> she put a pump to her breast and got out some breast milk <clears throat> for that baby so that, that we could nurse that baby but um, the only obvious interpretation of this dream is that no matter how bad of a situation we're in God can rescue us. There is nothing God can't do. And God can heal. God can work miracles. Mighty, powerful, awe-inspiring miracles. So, I send all my love to all y'all beautiful morning in TIs. God bless.